Scary Fam, welcome back. It's time to talk about some scary shit. Okay, to start off, we're gonna go with It's Witching Hour. And this video is The Demon in the Basement. This is a personal paranormal story time where they tell the story of a personal encounter they had many years ago with an extremely aggressive entity and a crazy landlord that only compounded the situation. <laughs> I was lucky, or unlucky enough, to be a clairvoyant, meaning I can see, hear, and even smell things from the spirit world. These things happen very rarely to me, and at this point I just considered my abilities a bit of an annoying quirk, and had not yet accepted them as part of who I am. Even though I was aware of my gifts and the spirit world, I was still a very skeptical person, and I always tried, and even wanted, to find rational explanations for things before I came to any conclusions about any kind of spiritual activity. Before these events, I had never experienced any kind of malevolent or demonic being. Since my phone conversation with Patty had gone so well, I was expecting us to get along just as well in real life. As I walked up the stairs of the porch to shake her hand, I immediately noticed her eyes. I can't fully explain how they looked, only that they were... off. She said how nice it was to meet me and shook my hand. I immediately got icy chills down my spine. All right, and then we have unit number 522 with three creepy stories submitted by subscribers. Now these are based on true events. And this is episode number 34. So the first story of the three, this is your heads up that it may at times hit a bit closer to home, a little bit like, you know, being too nice and that really biting us in the ass sometimes. Shit like that. 15 minutes later, me and my partner were getting bored and a bit creeped out. We knew that they were somewhere in the building because we kept hearing footsteps, doors closing, and what sounded like things being dropped on the floor. We decided to cheat and FaceTimed one of the hiders. When my friend picked up, we were mortified to see Christmas lights outside the building. They had ditched us. All right, then we move on to, I love this channel, Chilling Reddit. There's all different kinds of fucking Reddit. Shit, this one's Chilling Reddit. And the video is true or, get out, can you get out of my way so I can see this stuff? Thank you. True personal mysteries that still bothers me to this day. That's a great title. <laughs> it's like, that my name is Josh, and I've been a forward member for five months. Hi, Before Josh. forward, I was overweight. I was exhausted. You're not Josh. You're an actor. Out. Get out of here. Since so this one, this one, like, definitely has parts, like, things that people, Redditors, put in that are just, like, how'd that even make it? Are you kidding me right now? But there's also some good shit in here, so. It's worth it to hang in there and you know, you know, you totally know what I mean. I'm not even gonna explain that shit because you- I'm about know to I mean. give up. I got a call on my cell phone from a shuttle driver who saw it on the concrete and picked it up. He found my college ID and as luck would have it, his sister worked for the school's admissions department and was able to get my cell phone number from the student directory. Not only that, by pure coincidence, he would be in my neighborhood the next morning and could drop it off. Amazing. The next morning I was woken up by a sharp knock on my door. I groggily answered it and sure enough there was a man in a shuttle driver's uniform holding out my wallet. He wordlessly handed it to me, I stammered out a thank you and before I could offer him a reward or anything, he spun around and left. However, once the warm fuzzies of meeting such a good Samaritan faded, I realized something. At the time I lived with seven other people. The front door was always kept locked. Not one of my roommates saw or heard anything, and certainly no one let in a strange man at 8 in the morning. The door the driver knocked on was my bedroom door. Next is Draw the Life Tic Tac with the video Beijing's Ghost Bus. It's one of those tales. Draw my life though. So, you got drawings going on. 
with the tail, which is some good shit. I love that shit. You know, I love that shit. <laughs> After passing in front of the northern door of the palace, the driver saw two shadows moving in the highway. That wasn't an official stop, so he wasn't allowed to stop the bus there. However, it was so late that the driver felt pity for those people, so he decided to stop the bus and open a door. It's been a lot of compilations that are hella fucking long lately and they're getting in my way. I'm not here to poo poo on you, I just don't have time for that shit right now. But I feel like I'm missing out. Do you watch that shit? Is there some good shit in there or is there like that one thing where it's like, mm, I mean, that's some filler shit, huh? But there's some good shit in there or what? Is it worth it? Are there chapters? I have questions. I should probably just check one out, huh? And answer. So if you're like me, you don't really enjoy horror that's like ripped from the headlines, right? You you would much rather just have some great like supernatural being or sci-fi what the fuck are the answers to this kind of experience or something, right? Something that really works your brain. Like for some of us, it's scarier to not know what we're up against. How do you defend yourself against that shit, right? Versus, you know, if you see things that are, or hear about things and it just sounds like something you could see on the news and that's just frustrating, right? And what the fuck are you supposed to do with that energy? Like, just sit in it, I guess. Fuck that. Heads up, this is gonna have shit like that in it. This is Bill Knows with the top 20 creepy videos of strange things and scary stuff. We're talking about rain cam footage, stuff like that. If you don't know what ring cam is, those are the cameras with your doorbell and shit. So also one thing I've learned from watching these videos is make sure when you set that kind of shit up, so you need to make sure you're setting up all of the safety measures, you know, using all of the safety measures that you can when you're using those things, because it's apparently easy to dial into your shit. And there are a plethora of videos concerning ring cam footage things on YouTube right now. This is one of them. But it's another compilation, so it's just top 20 creepy videos of strange things and scary stuff, man. I wish you luck. I've already experienced it. I'm just taking you down with me. Number 18. This creepy clip has caught a wandering white light on video that cannot be easily explained. In the startling CCTV footage, what appears to be the vague outline of a possible ghost is spotted slipping away into the woods. When the alleged apparition fully disappears, a motion light turns on by itself even though no one is there. And then we have Weird World with Russia's shocking true ghost story we can't explain. It's a good one. It's a good ghost. It's a good ghost story. This real-life account of a bizarre paranormal occurrence was reported by Russian princess Marina Chavchevadze in 1936 to the authors of True Ghost Stories. The strange and terrifying encounter had received widespread publicity and caused a stir in pre-war St. Petersburg. A haunted house on Vasilyevsky Island in St. Petersburg, Russia, had been unoccupied for many years and held a sinister reputation. However, two students who scoffed at superstition and were wanting to debunk the supernatural legend decided to spend the night there. The owner of the house was keen to reinstate its property value on the selling or letting market and gladly gave permission to the paranormal investigators to stay as long as they liked. So your palate cleanser this round is Namibia King. I have been watching the shit out of this stream. It runs 24 7 at night time for them, you know, at their time, which is if you're here in like North America or in these time zones we got going on around here, then our daytime is their nighttime and it slips into infrared. But you can see things like a lot of oryxes, which is a type of antelope, as well as springbok. Springbok try saying that seven times fast, which are another type of antelope.
there are giraffes that will show up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm gonna insert a fucking picture, listen. Eventually I'll insert that, listen. There are these two mares, right? Feral mares, feral horses that also show up from time to time. We think they're sisters. <laughs> and there was a morning they showed up at the same time as this giraffe, right? Now these horses, they're like these like tree things nearby. It's this watering hole, this man-made watering hole. I forgot to mention that part. Um, and <laughs> these horses really love these these this like branch system set up nearby, right? And they're always like scratching themselves on it. This particular mare was going to town on that ass, like just scratch you just ooh yeah you <laughs> this giraffe i shit you not watched the whole time do you think i want this <laughs> i can't i fucking can't dude i can't so how do giraffes drink water from that shit <laughs> it's really cool watching them actually like if they go down to like eat food they just spring right back up it's really cute they're like dancers with that shit um zebras show up herds of like zebras and stuff will show up sometimes some spotted hyenas there are jackals um, lions don't show up around there because they're more in like northern Namibia and shit, but like still, no elephants. There were some cheetahs going through there for like around the beginning of December is the last time we saw them though. Um, so yeah, it's usually the oryxes though. Let's be real. Oh, now I know how, how do you know how ostriches drink water? Now you and I can no longer say that we do not know this. We know this now, fam. Look at that shit. It's adorable. Oh my god. I love this channel so much. I love it. The fucking warthogs? Dude, talk about mud bath for days. There was this one the other day that was going to town. Everybody else left and he was like, mine. And he just, he went to the horse's branches. He's back to the mud. There's an owl that likes to come through and take baths too. And hares, cave, cave hares? Yeah, something like that. And pigeons and pied crows and shit. But usually it's the oryxes. It's usually the oryxes, the little boys, whatever. <laughs> and then you have like the males that are sometimes you can always tell that it's a male because they're sniffing that ass like no business and it, if they're not getting a reaction then they're like and they start trying to like hook with that leg that paw or whatever that hook just like okay well then come here come here and then the lady's like you need to get off of me <laughs> you need to get out of here as the watering hole turns it's really cute so if you're ever like, you know, needing some background shit going on and, you know, sometimes the wind is a bit loud in that microphone, but like. All right, fam. Thanks for putting up with me yet again. <laughs> Until next time and beyond, please take care. It's the only way any of this works out, okay? I need you to take care. Try. Because I'm trying as well.